Sala, let's take a look at how the irrigation system connects at our water source. And there's several pieces through here. Why don't you walk through it from the top of the hydrant? Okay. Uh, the first piece that we have here is the irrigation timer that we can schedule to irrigate however we want. The next piece is the backflow prevention, the vacuum breaker that we mentioned it's critical to have. And there is a little arrow mm -hmm. right here that shows the direction of the flow. So we want to make sure it's in the right direction. Mm -hmm. The next piece here that's also very essential for any drip irrigation system is the filter. And I can show the filter and... And this is see. for removing particulate matter from the water, but it, it doesn't exactly. filter out chemicals, it's just particles, right? That's true. Mm -hmm. So this is our screen filter, and we can see over here, even though we have uh, had only one irrigation, the screen has prevented some of the sand particles from getting into the system. So this shows the importance of filter because we don't want these particles to get into the system and clog the emitters. Yeah, and you have an emitter here and it's it's just a tiny little opening. Uh, yes, this is the, the T-tape, the drip tape, which is the type that we have used. So this is the little opening that discharges the water and I've cut through this tape to show you the little path for water. So the water will be flowing here and that's the little path that water goes through to discharge from this little opening. And you can see how small these paths are here and they can be easily clogged by the sand particles that are trapped here in our filter. We would probably want to check this periodically and rinse it out to exactly. get rid of those uh, particulates in there. Mm -hmm. Now there's also an arrow pointing in the direction of flow on, on the filter That's correct. as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, the next piece here is the pressure regulator. Um, the, this one reduces the pressure to 12 psi, and this one also has a little arrow that shows the direction of flow. It says flow on this arrow. Uh, so we want this to be also attached in, in the control unit right after the filter. Mm -hmm. And then the last piece is a little uh, connector to go from PVC uh, to uh, polyethylene pipe. And this is kind of what we would call our main line that carries the water to the drip tape. Um, and this can be buried below ground yes, or it can. above ground. And one of the things I think is important, we don't want to kink it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty sturdy plastic and if we kink it, we're not going to get any flow. That's correct. System. As a matter of fact, that's how we close the end of the pipe. Mm -hmm. um, we just tuck it back and that's how we prevent the flow at the end of the pipe. All right. And I would say this is probably one of the most critical pieces of the irrigation, make sure we get it right. We're protecting our water source uh, with the backflow prevention and of course uh, reducing that pressure so that the system operates properly. That's correct. This is the HEDA system where we control everything, so it's really important part of the system. Mm -hmm.